What's up? What it do? What's good? What's poppin'? What's going on? Ooh. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, nice yes, I'm too, Zary. Just nice, okay, nice to meet you. That's great. Nice <laughs> to meet you, too. Okay. You can have a seat right there in that black right, chair right, right there. Yeah, okay. right there. That's fine. Thank you. No problem. I I brought my resume just in case. Oh, that's you... great. I'll take a look at it. You can hand it over to Sorry. me. <laughs> yeah, I'll check it out. No, it's fine. I, I can check okay. it out for you. There you go. All right. Thank you. So it says here you worked with President Barack as an assistant who specialized in details for events. Okay, so tell me about that. That sounds really, really impressive. Tell me about it. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, that? Yeah, that's a lot. I knew <laughs> y'all were hiring me if I didn't have no experience. So I just, Ella, Shazay, Shabam, and that junk. But I did okay. meet him. I did go to Washington DC and I saw him like walk across his lawn really or whatever. At all, but but I, I did I, I didn't meet him but yeah. I saw him but like so I knew y'all wouldn't hire me if I had experience and y'all said that So you lied. Like how am I supposed to have experience if ain't nobody trying to hire me? Take a chance. Like you lied, basically. But yeah. You I lied. lied. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. You can leave. So it says here you worked with President Barack as an assistant who specialized in details for events. Wow, that's that's really impressive. Tell me about that. How was it? That's really nice. Oh yeah, that yeah, that's an extremely honorable moment for yeah, me right there. Is. Yeah, it was one of my most stressful jobs, but I'd say it's like the best experience I've ever had thus far. Yeah. Would I re easy. recommend it? I mean, it's not really for everyone, but it's a really great job experience to have. And he's, Barack Obama is a very, really nice person. He's very articulate and well-spoken, and he yeah. lets you know that, That's an honor. you know, you're one of him, you're like him. He's oh, wow. equal, he's not above you, or, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, it was really a great experience. Yeah, thank you for that. So tell me why you're leaving your current employer. Well, I don't like nobody there. I cannot oh. stand anybody there. They honest. all can suck my dick on All of them suck. That's all of them yeah. trash. All of them Inappropriate. Big. Well, not all of them, but you know, some of them, you know, I mess with. They cool. They like family. I don't play about them. Mm. The rest of them, family. they trash. They can suck my dick on because whoa, somebody whoa. keeps stealing my whoa. lunch out of there. Oh. I don't oh. know who, but I feel like I do. Somebody keeps stealing my lunch out of there. And the pay suck. That's why I'm leaving. Anybody got time for that? I got bills to pay. What I look like, eight dollars an hour? What I'm gonna do with that? Nothing. Nothing. The heck? So tell me why you're leaving your current employer. Well, there are a plethora of reasons as to why I'm leaving my job, but due to my loyalty to that job, even though I'm trying to leave it, I don't feel comfortable enough to disclose that information as I wouldn't with you guys to any other employer if I were ever to leave or ever were to get fired. That's a loyalty that I have in a respect for the company. What makes you different from our other candidates since there are so many other people well, applying? Well, hmm. I don't see nobody else black here. We have a DA market. Plus, it's a matter of time before Twitter get on y'all for the lack of diversity at this company. It's don't. only a matter of, I'm being so dead serious, Twitter will be quick to drag y'all. It's only a matter of time before they peak the lack of diversity. We don't have to go and there. And get on y'all about that. Plus, ain't nobody else a hustle like me. Ain't nobody else a hustle like me. Plus, they ain't broke like me. They ain't on my level. They're not. Plus, you need me. For the lack of diversity. What makes you different from our other candidates? Since there are so many other people applying. Well, I'd say what makes me different is my personality. And I'm a very dedicated and motivated hard worker to making sure that the task that I'm given is successfully fulfilled to its 
full potential. So that's why I believe I'd be the best candidate for this position. You're extremely well spoken. So if you have an issue with a customer and they become verbally aggressive, potentially physically, what would you do? You trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Yes, ma'am. We go throw hands. I'm from the 305, we don't play that. From Little Haiti, we don't play that. Miami Gardens, we don't play that. The outskirts of the polka beans, we do not play that. I do not play that. They want to get all loud, they want to get all right. They want to try to put their hands on me. On me? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a helicopter. Yo, mama, don't <laughs> You don't want to know what I'm going to do. So if you have an issue with a customer and they become verbally aggressive, potentially, physically, what would you do? Well, that's a very, that's a very interesting question, considering that I am at work during this situation, so I have to be professional. So I'd say, no matter what the situation is, I'd go to higher up, so that higher up may de-escalate the situation because at the end of the day customers do come first they come first so i i wouldn't want to provoke them in any way or say anything that tick them off or you know i'd most definitely and definitely go to higher up so that they can handle the customer and give the customer what they need if a customer is stealing we don't want you getting involved in any shape or form we have strict protocol for that so we just want to make sure you understand that well baby you ain't gotta worry about that <laughs> i ain't doing nothing period nothing at all like they over here stealing do you boo i see you over here being successful they over here trying to come at me talking about some open registers i'm like all them okay you want me to open all the registers this ain't no problem with me they over here stealing i'm gonna help them to their car they over here stealing. i'm gonna say uh would you like that in the bag? We got some paper bags over here. They ain't gonna rip. They over here still. I'm gonna say, have a nice day. Come again. Yeah. I'm gonna help them load their junk. They could be like, oh, uh, what you think about these shoes? I'll be like, no, those are the imitation brands. You might want to try that one. Those headphones over there, yeah, those suck too. You might want to try those. They selling, they selling. That's them. That ain't my business. That ain't my business. Like, better in my business. What I look like chasing after somebody. The only thing I'm chasing is my money. I ain't chasing no men either. That is not gonna happen. So y'all ain't gotta worry about that at all. If a customer is stealing, we don't want you getting involved in any shape or form. We have strict protocol for that. So we just want to make sure you understand that. I understand. Our life is way more valuable than merchandise could it ever be so I understand that the strict protocol and the procedures are very important and I will not I will not intervene why do you want to work here why should we hire you you're hiring plus I'm broke broke the first being broke broke is a capital that's how deep it is I'm broke broke why y'all hiring then why I want to work here I need a job y'all are hiring that's it what's the problem <laughs> why should we hire you i believe i can bring forth dedication motivation and perseverance that coincides with my personality that will positively impact this company that's why i believe i should work here i believe i deserve this position hope you consider it